Hello, welcome to a new series on GemCraft. I'm going to be doing a couple of tutorials and maybe a few let's plays. So this tutorial is going to be about low level mana farming. As you can see, I'm not a very high level, only 129. To some of you that might be a lot, but it's quite easy to get here. And I'm just going to show you a way to boost yourself. So for my skills, as you can see I don't have anything unlocked yet, I just got the main mana leech component, and that's basically it, that's basically the most important thing you need for a mana farm. So starting off here, just put a little into true colors which just gives you a bunch of special multipliers. In this one, you just get more mana per kill so that way your kill gem can also gain mana. With this, your grade overall cost will just decrease, so that's good. Over here, the numbers I chose is just that this is the checkpoint where it transfers from one bolt shot per spell to two. So that's why I just put these numbers here, and same thing with this one, but to three. See, it always goes to 2, and then this is where it transfers to 3, so I just left it at these. For mana leeching, I just put a couple of points in, not to spend my whole mana pool. So, I just get higher mana leech. And, you need to note that there's another 15% higher mana leech for grade 7 gems or higher. So that's when really things really start taking effect after grade 7 gems. And then the rest of my points went into traps. And traps are really good because even if they reduce your uh, damage by 80%, they have a lot more firing speed and you can boost them with your skills. Like for example, this one gives it so that it ignores armor, so it is really good for a kill gem. And this is extra firing speed. And the third skill is Barrage, which gives traps an extra 30% bonus to uh, components, which is really good. That's why we're going to be using traps. As you can see, it's 100% special multiplier bonus for gems and traps. Quick note, just don't overdo it on skills, like you don't want to pump it all the way up and then you don't have a mana pool, because you're going to have a hard time starting. So I'm just going to leave it at this. The next thing you want to do is find a map where it has three gems. I know some, some people like the black or white gems, but at this point it doesn't really matter. So what you're looking for is a map with orange, yellow, and red. As you can see I got quite a bit of experience from that. And then I also made one with this one and also made a couple of good shots in there. Now you just gotta find a good map with all three of them. See this one has two but it doesn't have chain hit. Chain hit is really important in this because the more monsters you hit the more mana you get. Oh there you go. So this one has my highest XP is fairly low so this is going to be a good round and it has all three gems available. So the more traits you put, the higher your XP multiplier is, but don't forget, don't overdo it, or else it will be too hard and you can't do it. So right now my XP multiplier is 14, which is a lot for my level. I guess we can start the battle.
Okay, so what we want to start with is a few placement towers. We have a monster nest right here and right here, so placing a trap somewhere over here wouldn't be ideal. You would want to place it somewhere over on this side. I don't like starting with uh, traps personally because they don't do a lot of damage and you might not kill anybody and they might just leak through so that's why for my kill gem I usually start with a tower and then go on with a trap but for the mana gem it doesn't matter what you start off with so I'll just put a trap You want to make sure that you have enough mana for both gems, so I'm not going to go too crazy, I'm just going to create a level 3 gem. And then add a red to it. By pressing the G key, you can combine it with this one. Same thing with a uh, kill gem right now. I'm going to place a tower. I'm going to make a critical hit and also add one red gem to it. So click, drag, and press G. Also, you don't have to drag your gems around. You can just left click. And now we'll place the gem in its position. So I have a few things left. I can start gem bombing. As I can see, my damage is 111. And right now, we're not ignoring armor, so we're counting both of them up. And that's one. Yeah, that's actually enough. I can't gem bomb anything. So I'm just gonna click this and press space to unpause. So as you can see, they're gonna come. Once they pass this gem, they're gonna start gaining mana. Right now I'm gaining 2.75 mana per hit, so the more hits I do, the more uh, mana I get, obviously. And I wanna get that as high as I can. So I can upgrade this one, or upgrade this one. Let, first, let's see how much HP they have. So they have 106, I think. Yes, 106. I do 111. So I'm not worried about my kill gem right now. I think I want to upgrade my... Uh, manager. Instead of just pressing the U key, which will be very inefficient, I'll create another third gem and then combine that with the G key. And there you have it. Now we do four, approximately four mana per hit. So that's a lot more than before. And this way is a bit harder. I will need to upgrade my kill gem for this one. And I will speed it up a bit. So by pressing Q or these two arrows, you can do it. So I'm going to be pressing Q. And there you have it. So that's killing stuff. For now, everything is perfectly fine. Now I have a chance to upgrade my kill gem, and I will do that by doing the same thing I did with my mana gem. I will get a third gem, and then combine it. Now I do 172, so I can gem bomb a bit. So by pressing B and then shift, 
I can bomb multiple times and not use up this gem. One sixty, that should be enough. Now I'm gonna click it so I can send you right a bit of mana from. It's okay that they're passing, because the kill gem's gonna deal with them pretty soon. As you can see, there is a lot of mobs on here, because of these two monster nests. If you feel confident enough, you can keep them, and kill them, kill the mobs that come out of there, and gain more experience. If you think it's too much, you can of course kill them, and then you'll get less mobs, less XP, but it's gonna be a bit easier. As you can see, it is quite hard to keep up with everything. All the mobs, there's so much of them. I'm thinking of upgrade this again for extra attack speed and I have bolt ready. So I'm definitely going to be using that. I'm going to upgrade them by pressing the U button now. And then press 4 for the bolt upgrade. That was four. It does a lot more damage. We completely destroyed all the Now we have enough to upgrade our mana gem, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put beam on it. That way it hits a lot faster, therefore we gain a lot more. So by pressing the 5 key, I put beam on it, see it has 30% reloading speed. And now we do 5.6 mana per hit. Now right before the 6th wave, since this is a swarmling wave, they don't have a lot of HP. That way I can bomb a lot more. So I'm going to press B, shift, and then bomb. I do 275 damage, so that's what I'm going to be aiming with the bomb. So, 260, I think we could stop there. Now, I am going to place a free spell over here so we can get an extra few hits in. That was a bad idea. I just wanted to check how much damage I would do. But as it seems, not a lot, even if I would ignore armor. I only do 55 per hit. As you can see, their hit points is a lot higher. So I'm gonna wait until I can upgrade it once more. So I can upgrade it, and I'm gonna cast Bolt on it again. Now I do 400 damage. So I can jump on the next wave. So, 390, that's about right. You never wanna go too much, cause again, 430 is the maximum, absolute maximum I can do. So that's why it's always better to keep it a bit lower. Now I'm gonna wait for it. We don't want this shield beacon here. This is gonna give them extra shield and we don't want that. So I'm gonna bomb it. So two bombs and that should be I can upgrade this gem, so by pressing U, 
and then place my beam on it, so 5, so it instantly reloads. And let's start gem bombing this. I went a little bit over, but that should be fine. We do not want this. So this is a discharging beacon, so whenever it pulses, it resockets anything in its range. I don't think this is in range, but I mean, it is kind of touching the tower. So just to play it safe, I'm not going to take any chances. And I'm going to freeze this because they are getting a bit too far. And I'm gonna upgrade it. And now this is where everything uh, takes place. Level 7 gems. So once this reaches level 7 too, I'm gonna gain a lot more mana. So my leech 7.7 .7 mana per hit is gonna jump up a crazy time. Now instead of bolt, I think I'm gonna switch to beam, because beam is very good with taking care of multiple enemies. I'm gonna redo it to special entities or carrying or blitz, so it kills them off first. And there you go. Now I get. Now I'm putting it back to nearest to all. Now I can upgrade my gem to level 7 and watch how it jumps up, the specials jump up. From 7 we went up to 12, that's a big jump right there. Now I'm gonna freeze it because this is reloading. Now I wanna make sure I can get a few hits in. There you go. Bolt up, I think of play, I'm thinking of placing this in its strap. So 139. That's a bit low, but it's okay with a swarm length. I'm gonna ignore armor, so now when I'm bombing, I don't care about the armor level, it's gonna go crazy high in the thousands, but I'm not worrying about that, I'm just worrying about hit points. So I do 140 damage, and that's exactly what I'm going to bomb. So here we have 131. Look at the arm armor level. It's way up high, 600. Definitely not going to be able to kill that. But since I'm ignoring armor, I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to click it to send it. And This one has enough HP points for me to worry about, so I'm not gonna do anything with it. We do have a 27% chance to deal times 7 damage, so it's like 700. But it's only 27 chance, and I don't want to risk it. Yeah, this reduces any damage done. I don't want that. It's working pretty well. I'm gonna upgrade this and then put beam on it so five right away so it doesn't have to reload. And I'm gonna upgrade it right away and put bolt. 
so it doesn't have to recharge. And now I have a 30% chance to do times 10 damage, so that's 2000 damage, holy crap. And I do 220. So two hits per monster. Yeah, 2.6 shots per second. Couple of things since even my mana gem is killing them. It's not good. In the beginning, you don't want to them a ton because it will kill you. I'm thinking there's a bit too much monsters for my liking, so you don't have to do this, but I'm going to destroy a monster now. And I'm choosing this one because it's armor 60. Meanwhile, this one is on hijack, so this is going to be a lot easier to kill. And I'm gonna target this. So by left clicking, I can just target it. And now I'm gonna upgrade it. Since this uh, 8 gem 2, I'm gonna combine it. So drag, G, and drop. I have bolt ready, so I click 4, so it doesn't have to reload. So my manager is so I'm gonna freeze them so I can get quite a few over the mana so because since this has chain hit the more monsters there are in a group clutched together, the more hits it does at once. Therefore, the more mana. By pressing N, you can save up, uh, send the next wave right away. So, and there you don't have to keep clicking it, you can just press N for a short bit. And now I'm gonna jump on a few more waves. Now this one, I'm gonna jump on. There you go, 317 and 339, that should be good enough. I have my beam ready, and enough mana to upgrade this soil well. That was a big jump from 16, I went to 23, so I was very good, and I'm gonna put beam so it doesn't recharge. I'm going to leave giants alone for now. I'm going to bomb the swarmlings. There you go. And I'm going to upgrade the mana as soon as I can. So I'm going to press U and then put the money. Now I'm gonna macro a bit so I can get as many more spawn as possible. I can just get it and do it. These are not really bothersome, so I'm just gonna leave them.
I'm going to have it. I'm going to upgrade this with the ball in it right away. And 530. Almost 50% chance. So that's like. Like 5,000 every other hit. So that should be fine. I'm going to upgrade this quite a bit. I mean, bomb it. OB, shift. And we'll start. So, so every 5,000 every other hit. So, I mean, in half, it's going to be about 2,500. work differently I think since there's they're smaller and so I'm going to go to 2500 that's okay because by this time I hope I'm gonna have a better jam I'm gonna go have a little mouse coming up and then see what I'm gonna do. There you go. Since there's a bit too much of them. I can't put this. No, I can't. I'm gonna put this out here and put a beam on it so it fires faster. And I can upgrade it, so I'm gonna upgrade it and put both in it now. Put it back in and put bolt on it. So in situations like that, you just have to have to, have to, have to make sure nobody leaves. You have 50% chance to do 26 times damage. So that's it's 20,000 damage. So every other hit, I do 20,000 damage. So around 10,000 should be good. So I'm gonna bomb a bit more of these waves. I'm ready to get upgraded, so I'm gonna upgrade it and put it in right away. Raise them so they can. I don't really have any negative effects, so I don't mind about despawning. Now I'm gonna macro a bit with the ice.
this touch of wisdom spark. This is very important because it boosts your EXP multiplier by a lot. First, I'm gonna jump on this. But then this, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna create a level 7 gem and completely. And then finish it off with a bunch of level 1. By scrolling up or down, you can change the number here. You can see it's 5, you can put 10. This is the amount of gems at a time, so I can do two gems. Now I'm going to scroll it back to one and continue gem bombing. I'm just going to test this out. Hmm. Okay, then that was helpful. Stop right before the touch of wisdom and jump off it again. Scroll up, I'm gonna go up to 10 again. Oops, went over it. I'm gonna go way higher than 10. I'm gonna go to like 30. Still 20,000, so I can't really gem bomb. Yeah, it's gonna give another 1,000 HP, so that's not gonna be ideal. And yeah, until I can upgrade my gem, I'm gonna gem bomb. These aren't a bother, so I'm not going to bother with them. Though they do give a lot of XP. So I might be. I'm gonna upgrade this gem a bit so I can take down these beacons and start gem. <laughs> They gave a lot of XP. So I think I'm going to uh, bomb it to 10,000 HP.
I think the next thing I want to do is my kill jump. So I can bomb the bomb. Hit. Yeah. 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 Now I'm gonna upgrade this to the death on it so it's not to do anything. And I got an achievement creator to level 12th gem. Now I do much more damage, 60% chance to deal with Wow. So, we're back, I'm gonna calculate this up. So, it gives 46,000 damage. I'm gonna gem bomb this to 20,000. Wow, extra hit point. Whoops. One million HP. Wow, giants are giants. And that gives a lot. Getting through. Wow, a lot are getting through. Gonna put bolt in it. Uh, carrying ore blitz. Because I want to I actually want to kill everything now. So there you go. I'm back into here with Bolt. So we are so far in with a lot of experience and we're still not even in endurance mode. But I don't think we can get far in endurance mode because these mobs are just getting way too strong. We are on gr uh, glaring difficulty, so that's why if we were on looming, I could have get to like 200 waves. But since this is glaring, it's way harder. So I'm gonna upgrade this one. Put a beam on it. Now I do 61 mana per hit. Uh, Oh no. Now I have to do this. So, that was, uh, the opening level. I got 500 XP. Of course, since my previous one was 20,000.
was in it's attractive to do. I'm gonna continue in the dance mode for now. It's basically the same thing. Upgrade it when you can, and put beam and bolt on bolt on this one and beam on your manager, and that's really it. So I'm gonna be back right before I die. I'm about to die. On the way. EXP. And let's see how much levels I got. And there you have it. I was 129. Now I'm 140. So that was 11 levels. Not bad. So I started doing this at about level 80, I want to say. And from level 80 I went straight to 100 after this one this was a perfect one and then from there I just went higher and higher I I did this three times so one over here one over here and somewhere else anyways I did about three times yeah one over here and I leveled up pretty fast and from the very beginning it gave me a little boost and now I can do any of these levels without problem. And that's just how you start doing it. And this is the talisman I got. And a bunch of achievements. Well, thank you for tuning in. See you next time.